Previously, we posted the story of the Prosser family, who had their dream of a Rudolf Steiner Waldorf education destroyed at Austin Waldorf School. Before enrolling their child into Austin Waldorf, the Prosser family had been assured by the school that critical race theory was absolutely not part of the school's program. But it wasn't long before the parents discovered that Austin Waldorf fully embraced critical race theory. Chris Prosser told his story in an open letter to Austin Waldorf school board and community regarding critical race theory DEI, and the SEED Project. We read Chris's letter in a previous video. We contacted Chris and he accepted our request for an interview. We are ready to post this interview, but first it seemed important to verify what Chris was saying. He received an outpouring of support after the circulation of his open letter for speaking out against critical race theory in his Waldorf school. Many others who were simply afraid to stand up alone and speak out, now came forward to tell their stories, confirming Chris's concern of critical race theory in Austin Waldorf. Chris received support and further testimony from parents, ex-teachers, ex-administrators, ex-board members, and even previous attorneys. In this video, I will read excerpts from these emails that Chris received. We left this year in large part due to the rampant woke DEI curriculum. You were lied to. It's been there for years. They even have specific DEI meetings with the high schoolers for two years now. You are absolutely right. It has no place anywhere in a peaceful and loving world, let alone in a school. Sadly, the school has continued to go downhill and fast over the past 10 years. I no longer have children at Austin Waller School. The school departed from its strong Rudolf Steiner philosophy and became something we were disgusted by. The place has always been a lefty joint, but the Steiner discipline kept it on track. Waldorf discipline at the school has waned significantly. I have personally watched as this school has gone from the oasis that it was when we first began to something else, something that is not consistent with the Waldorf philosophy. Austin Waldorf has quietly morphed into a politically driven school. I am a 40 plus years retired Waldorf teacher administrator who is also deeply disturbed by the infiltration of CRT in the Waldorf movement. The National Association, OSNA, has been pushing DEI for several years. The summer conference last summer was all about bringing DEI CRT into the school communities. There are waves of pushback beginning to take on momentum in some Waldorf schools that I know of. But Austin Waldorf School is mostly following the woke progressive agenda now. Thank you for your bravery and courage to bring this topic to the forefront at Austin Waldorf. CRT and DEI feeds racism, and it's been hard to watch this come into our community over the last year. We signed up for traditional Waldorf education with traditional Waldorf values. But now, more than this is flooding in, and if it's questioned, you are considered a white supremacist, racist, and wear the scarlet letter. It's really upsetting that our society and community is so divided and immensely brainwashed. Now that we have provided the background for what happened to the Prosser family and have been able to verify that others have had a similar experience, we will post our interview with Chris next. If you have a story that needs to be told, about your experience in a Waldorf school or in another Rudolf Steiner related initiative, have courage and contact us at philosophyoffreedom.com.